Number five, Bray Wyatt. The late great Bray Wyatt proved to be one of John Cena's greatest rivals, but before Bray Wyatt would debut to Fiend character, he was often featured in feuds where he would come up on the losing end, often making his threats seem less and less intimidating. This was especially the case at WrestleMania 30, when Wyatt and Cena faced off one on one. This was a huge opportunity for Wyatt at the time and could have propelled him straight into the title picture following WrestleMania. However, Cena had other ideas and would beat Wyatt clean in the WrestleMania showdown, which did little to bolster Cena afterwards and hindered Wyatt for yet another year. It was another instance of the WWE booking Cena way too strongly and causing outrage from fans in the process. Luckily, Wyatt would rebound from this later on in his career, but for a long time, Cena always had the upper hand. Number 4. The Nexus one of the worst booking decisions in the history of the WWE was allowing John Cena to single-handedly destroy the Nexus. This was during the era that Super Cena was at his peak in the WWE and was essentially invincible when everyone hated him for it. The Nexus would then explode onto the scene and presented a great opportunity to push multiple new stars at once in this monstrous stable which got over instantly with the fanbase, aiming to break Cena and give him a new hill to overcome. Wade Barrett especially should have been given more wins to help push his momentum as the leader of the Nexus, but when it came to SummerSlam 2010, Team Cena and Team Nexus would face off, and when it came down to 2 on 1 against Cena, he would somehow fight back and defeat the Nexus after having been driven head first onto the concrete floor, halting the group's credibility instantly. WWE constantly had Cena come out on top for the majority of this rivalry, and Barrett and the Nexus were never able to make the mark they should have. Wade Barrett had a decent career, but it wasn't at the main event status that it should have been. Number 3. Baron Corbin The WWE has tried countless times to get Baron Corbin over with the audience. He has been through multiple gimmick changes and has won a number of big matchups. With his finishing move, The End of Days, it's once been the most protected move in the company. One of the early attempts to put Corbin over came in the form of a feud with John Cena on SmackDown Live, where the pair would face off at SummerSlam 2017 in what turned out to be a mostly one-sided stinker of a match, where Cena would pick up the win fairly easily, and this could have been a springboard moment for Corbin, but resulted in a subpar match, with Corbin suffering yet another big defeat. Things wouldn't improve much for Corbin down the line either. Number 2. The Miz The Miz and John Cena were supposed to be on equal levels heading into their match at WrestleMania 27. However, at the time, Super Cena was still running wild, and even though The Miz was able to defeat John Cena at WrestleMania to defend his WWE title, his entire time as WWE Champion was outshone by the John Cena vs The Rock storyline, instead of helping push The Miz as a credible champion. The pair would face off multiple times over the years, with Cena often having the upper hand, which did little to help boost Cena at all. The Miz would bounce back from this and build himself back up the card, delivering a memorable Intercontinental Championship reign and capturing the WWE title for a second time. Number 1. Umaga Umaga was an incredible performer and someone who brought real dominance to the ring and should have had a world title run to match his status in the late 2000s. His matches were always fun to watch, and being paired against John Cena was a huge opportunity for him, which was arguably the biggest moment of his career. However, in typical WWE fashion, Cena would beat Umaga's undefeated streak at New Year's Revolution in 2007, before having their best match the following month at the Royal Rumble in a last man standing match for the WWE title. However, no matter how much Cena was battered and beaten, he would choke Umaga out with the ring ropes to pick up the win halting Umaga's run as a monstrous heel. Umaga would never quite feel the same after this, and despite being placed against other top talents, would soon drop down into the mid-card, which ultimately stopped him from being the top name that he should have been. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more wrestling content.